as children, yeah, she's she's good good starts to inspire and develop. Huh, that's, that's weird. Not a single thing about the art of dog murder. Outside of building a plastic empire off of stolen ideas, LEGO's had a pretty clean record. On the rare occasions LEGO receives any sort of mainstream coverage, it has such a positive light on it, unholy viewers immediately burst into flames. This is all for good reason, as the perception of LEGO being as family friendly as possible has been meticulously constructed so even the purest of saints can't scoff at the brand. Even when a whiff of a stinky little incursion comes along, it's helmed by someone that's so blasted out of their mind, their art is a used urinal that he jizzed on. The point I'm trying to make is Lego doesn't slip up, not in any real significant way. They might not make a figure you want or market something a little funny, but those things are only really talked about by the fans. Real controversies, the big boy stuff, that just doesn't happen. Seeds have been planted. However, the chance of them to take root and grow hasn't yet shown up. There is one seed in particular that really fascinates me. One thing that would surprise you to learn nothing came of it. The year was 2020. The winter months had set in on the already sucky British Isles and food was running scarce. With days shrinking as the temperature dropped, hope was lost. That was until immediate media came out with the 77th issue of the Lego Friends magazine. This month's beacon of happiness and love brought warmth to all of the Englishmen's hearts. Page after page turning page of bright vivid Lego like whimsy gave a new understanding of the word joy. This though only lasted for 24 pages because on the 25th page disaster struck. In a Lego magazine meant for young, impressionable little girls, encouragement and a recipe was given to make a poison death treat for your precious pooch. Should have just given him a knife. With this, I'll finally be able to kill that blasted dog and have the princess to myself. One half of an appalling apple. Two tablespoons of the most suspicious sunflower seeds. One hundred grams of odorous oats. An undetermined amount of wicked water. And most important of them all, two tablespoons of the most vile, evil ingredient, raisins. Oh, did, that, did I read that right? Raisins? Why is this taking so Who's Bobby? Why is the music so upbeat? Is this a weird marketing thing? Just get to it. My dog's gonna die. Let's go. Because it leads to kidney failure. One, two, 13, 14, 22, 23. 25 sets of eyes saw this before it went public. You might be asking yourself, out of the 1,500 editors that worked on this, how did not one fact check this? And it might be easier than you think. Let's take a look at the timeline. December 1st, issue 77 hit store shelves. Uh, on the 21st of December, Tesco pulled it from shelves. And to help further spread this message, they went to Twitter. We've been made aware that the Lego Friends magazine issue 77 is being recalled. Of course, this news came with some, some unfortunate side effects. Oh, yeah, let's ratio Tesco. This whole man's career is over. I thought dogs could eat raisins. Yeah, you're not the only one. When are Tesco going to make an apology and recall any product being advertised as British when it was imported from abroad? But is there some sort of carrot controversy? What was the Lego Co. thinking when they created a recipe for dogs with lethal ingredients? They make plastic bricks, not food. The company should be sued and forced to shut down. In fairness, it is plastic bricks, and I'm sure that can take down a dog just as fast as a raisin. Hello to everyone in the UK who just saw this. You should also ban people from Japan. Wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> Wonder if I'll glow in the dark after eating these British carrots. Wait, there is a carrot controversy. This is a big deal, and, and not the not the carrots, the the ma magazine. What was Lego's response? Oh, <laughs> right, nothing. It's not on their recall page. Guess they didn't want to ruin their streak. This all does strike up some curiosity. Why didn't more people talk about this? Where were any of the news outlets? Why was a dog treat recipe in a magazine about Lego hamsters? How did Twitter not pick this up and get a hashtag cancel Lego trend going? And most importantly, would these treats work on other animals?